So I'm very fortunate in my sewing space to have some very big windows that give me a lot of beautiful natural light during the day. But as most of you know, I do most of my sewing at night and so I don't often get to take advantage of this light. And I have to use, just like most people, lamps, basically artificial lighting to get my sewing done in the evening. But when Brightech reached out to me to review one of their lamps, I thought it would be a great opportunity to further improve the lighting situation in my sewing studio. Now, although this lighting in the evening doesn't really bother me much, it's just when I get down to tasks such as picking out stitches that I maybe made a mistake on, that's when I start to see the biggest strain on my eyesight. And so I want to show you what that looks like. So this is the Brightech Lightview Pro 2-in-1 LED lamp and I really was attracted to the tabletop function and this is the lamp as it is set up to be the tabletop function and you can see it has a extendable arm and it has a cover which I like if you just want to use it as a lamp you can just close the cover and not need to use the magnifying function but when you're ready to use the magnifying function just open the, the cover there and you've got a very big window for some good good crisp magnification and I'm going to show you in just a bit. To turn on a lamp you just turn on the light switch and the light setting is adjustable. You've got two settings here. The gray function operates the more white light and you can turn it down or up in intensity and the red function operates a more um, kind of that soft white. It's kind of a little bit of a yellow light but it's not dingy or dim and same controls there where you can make it more intense or less intense. The head of the lamp also rotates almost 360 degrees, but it rotates enough to where you can get a lot of variety into the positioning of the lamp. And I won't blind you, so I won't turn it all the way towards the camera, but you can see on the opposite side how far it turns around. So it's very versatile in that regard. In there, I've turned the light off so you can see what it looks like from the underside and how far it rotates. When you're ready to extend it into an even, even higher tabletop function, the arm allows you to extend it. And so you've got some, some versatility there when it comes to the tabletop function. Now I want to show you what it looks like looking through this magnifying function and to see what the lights look like up close. So now I'm just looking through the magnifying glass. See? And look how crisp and clear that is. So I really like the strength and the magnification here, especially when dealing with texture fabrics and, and threading and maybe hand sewing and things like that to try to make sure that you can see what you're doing a little better. And so the reason I selected this lamp is because I knew that I would want to use the tabletop function more than the floor, light, floor lamp function, but I am trying out the floor lamp function for doing a little bit of reading. So all I have to do is just add one rod and it's just a really quick installation and then I place the top of the lamp back into that extension rod and then I now have a floor lamp. So now that I have shown you the features of the Lightview Pro Lamp, I just wanted to give you a summary of my overall thoughts about this lamp. So just like with any tool, any tool has its pros and cons and I thought that this was a very sturdy lamp and the product is very high quality that is no question about that what i really liked was the lamp feature and the different selection of lights on here when i was using it i can instantly feel my eyes relax so looking at something through this magnifying glass plus using the right selection of light for you know whatever time of day it was I, I could feel a release and tension in my eyes because they always feel kind of tired. But I don't always need that. For the most part, I have very good lighting in my, um, my sewing area with my lamps that I have that are more compact that can sit on my tables and don't take up as much space. And so the times that I would need to use this for maybe picking out small stitches, I thought that this lamp would be a great fit for that. The downside to that is that this lamp doesn't really 
fold well for me and or store well for me unless you take it apart and so I found that it takes up a little more space than I'm willing to give it on a daily basis and like I said I probably won't use it enough to justify pulling it in and out of of the box and so that was a little bit of a thought for me on that so when I was looking in their store uh, on the Amazon store for Bright Tech I was looking at the different products and I intentionally chose this one because it was it had a tabletop function most of their lamps are floor lamps and I knew that I wouldn't need that so I was still expecting something more compact but based on the power of these the lights in here plus the ample size of the magnifying function I can see why this is a bit bigger but like I said storage wise I'm not really sure um, if I could justify the use versus the storage needs for it so again if you are into crafts and maybe art you draw or you paint or you do something that you need to pay um, attention to very very intricate details this may be very good for you. This may be a good investment for you. And as you can see while I'm talking here, this was one of the things that I found a little cumbersome is that as I'm flexing it and trying to get it in place, I had to I had to do it a couple of times. Like it's not staying in place. Like it was a it was a bit of a chore to get it to stay in place. And this right now it's still sitting on the uh, floor option I think once you get used to the function and get it like set up the way you want to and you get the arms in place and rotate it how you want to then you may not need to fool with it a lot I see you can kind of tighten it here and that may help I read some really really good reviews on it so like I said this just may take a little bit of me getting used to it but if you are someone again if you are someone who needs extra assistance with magnification seeing very small and intricate detailed tasks then you may want to consider this and try it out for yourself so if you have any more questions about this lamp i'll make sure to put all of the information in the info box below so make sure that you have subscribed to my channel because i've got even more videos tutorials and reviews coming up so I'll see you in the next video.